News Explore is a brand new way of understanding the news through cognitive analytics and linked data visualizations. It uses Alchemy News API, which ingests up to 300,000 articles a day and presents the news in an easy to understand form. To begin an investigation, we can enter it on the top bar or we can double click a node in the network graph to make it the subject of a new query. The area on the left is called details, where we can view all the article titles and their contained entities. For instance, companies linked and locations linked. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the articles in a separate browser tab. Here we see the article and its body, and you might see some of those entities mentioned in the article that show up in details. By clicking on one of the entities in details, you'll notice two things. One, a description of the entity, and two, articles are highlighted on the network graph that contain the location. Though if we clicked a company, organization, or person, that node would be highlighted in the graph. This brings us to the next visualization area called the news network. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and if I click on IBM in the middle, you'll see the network around that node. I'll drift over to Apple, and you can see a smaller network of articles that reference IBM and Apple. I've hovered over an article node to review its title, and then I can see other entities connected to it. I can also disable different entity types from the top of the news network for a less crowded view. I can click on any node to reveal its details on the left-hand side of the screen, or I can just drift around, hover over the entity titles. Let's go ahead and bring some of those other entity types back into the network graph. The next visualization area is the timeline. You'll notice I can roll over it to get the article titles. A highlighted article is also highlighted on the news network. We can use the timeline to see articles trending chronologically. Each of these articles features IBM, which was the subject of our initial query. Next, let's go ahead and wander over to the locations visualization area. Here we can highlight and click on different countries. Let's go ahead and select China. And finally, a city like Beijing. You'll notice any articles that involve the geo entity are highlighted green along the timeline. Not all the entities will show up on the map, so we can switch over to list mode to get a list of all the entities. We can click them, and you'll notice the graphs respond, timelines highlight, details load. All the visualizations are linked. Another visualization area is the word cloud, which in its initial mode features topics, which are themes extracted from the bodies of the article by the Alchemy News API. Let's click on a couple of these topics. And you can notice in the news network, the articles containing those topics highlight. If we click on an article node, we can see all the other entities that were featured in the same article relating to customer service. We can double click in a blank area of the word cloud to reset it and also filter by other entity types. For the next part of this tutorial, we'll explore a feature called connections, which allows you to view the relationships between two different entities. We'll choose Stephen Hawking as a person, opening the connections menu, and for our second entity, let's type NASA. We'll define it as an organization. Before I get started, I'm going to expand the news network. Okay, and now I will investigate the relationship. This initiates a new query to the Alchemy News API. Okay, and here's our result. On the left, we see Stephen Hawking, the first connection that we entered. And on the right, NASA, the second connection. In the area in between, we see a network of articles and entities that link the two connections. Let's explore a bit. Here's an interesting article. Let's go ahead and pan down and see the connection. Ah, Elon Musk. But there's a lot visualized here. Let's get a more focused view by turning off the context in the menu at the top. Okay, here's a much simpler network. Now we're just seeing articles and entities that form the primary paths between the two connections. Conveniently in connections mode, the other visualization areas can also be used to filter and navigate the network. Try it yourself. You'll be navigating the news in no time.